Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today is Thursday, January 5th. It is almost 11 a.m. as I am filming this and I just wanted to pop in because I wanted to share some of the mystery vault cutting and order filling process with you guys. Um, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I offer a mystery kit every single month. And what I like to do at the end of the year to celebrate my shop anniversary is I like to offer all of those kits um, and put those up unlimited quantity for you to be able to purchase and you get to see like the designs and the things that are included with it. So unlike the mystery kits that like you purchase on a monthly basis where you have no idea what it is and what's included, um, this is kind of like, okay, after the fact, if you want to pick those kits up, it's your like last chance to pick them up. So I offered this during the week, like I think the Wednesday before Christmas up until Christmas and it was very successful. Um, last year was the first time that I did it and I only offered it I think for like a day, maybe even not a whole day. It might have been just like a few hours and I remember that being successful but this time around I'm like you know what I'll leave it open for a longer period of time. Um, and let me tell you guys that like of course I can't really compare it to last year because it was very different in terms of time and stuff like that but this one was very successful. We had close to 300 mystery kits um, get purchased and so this entire week so Monday all the way up until today I have been working non-stop on getting those orders cut because it takes a lot to have those cut. We have been working back and forth between the big Graph tech and the silhouettes because back when I cut a bunch of the mystery kits for 2022 we were still working on some of the silhouettes so we've been going back and forth trying to utilize the machines as best as possible and I feel like I am finally getting to the point where like we are about to start packing them and yeah it has been insane there has been a lot going on, a lot of different like moving pieces here and there. Um, so I wanted to share with you guys some of the process. So here are the packing slips. I went ahead and printed those out today. I'm gonna start marking them all up. Um, I think a lot of them are just pure mystery kits, which will make my life so much easier. Um, but there are some that have other stuff along with it. So um, I'm hoping to get these all out tomorrow. That's my goal. And I'll definitely bring you guys along with me during that process as well. But there are 79 of these that I'm hoping to get filled. Usually when I'm filling mystery kit orders or sorry, when I'm filling orders in general, I typically do about 50 a day. So 79 is definitely a stretch, but again, a lot of them I think are just going to be mystery kits. So hopefully I can fly through them pretty quickly. I did a couple of things in preparation for trying to get these done. First thing, I made a um, pivot table. My accounting roots are coming back. I made a pivot table of every single kit um, and I have it sorted. So I have all the A5 daily duo stuff at the top, a compact vertical, daily duo, hourly, and vertical. And as you probably know, but hourly and vertical are definitely the most popular in my shop. So those are definitely the most popular in terms of the mystery vault orders. Um, but I have a process where I printed this out. I put it in my notebook. This notebook is a three subject five star notebook that I use for literally everything. I'm a paper and pen type of girl so I can't get away from it but I keep like my custom scripts in here. I write those down. Um, I do a lot of my like budget prep in here as well and then I keep track of restocks and things like that. This notebook goes with me everywhere. So anyway I took a pivot table. I went ahead and printed it out and I did it on sticker paper so I could put in my notebook so it could be with me at all times. And I've been highlighting the items or the kits as I'm printing them. And then when they're completely packed, I go ahead and mark through with like a really dark pen. That way I know where I'm at. So as you can tell, like there's a lot of marking and stuff going on. We're getting really close. 
um, to the end point. The other thing that I did is I went ahead and printed out a little cheat sheet for myself. So this is all of the kits that were offered. I think there are 10 kits total um, because two I'm bringing back as full kits. But I printed them out just so I can remind myself what kit is which. I'm really good about knowing the kits in terms of like kits one through 130 at this point. Like I can really really quickly picture which kit it is and like what the design is but for mystery kits is a little bit more tricky because I think of those more in terms of months so anyway those are a couple of the things that I've like printed out and put together to make this process easier I also have all of the mystery kits that are already packed in here so you can see a bunch of them here so i have them sorted by type so the hourlies are in the front then we have the a5 or sorry the seven by nine daily duo the vertical the a5 i have little sticky notes to keep track of what kit they are um so yeah this thing is really ridiculously heavy the office is a complete mess let me go ahead and show you guys this honestly it's a mess so here we have all of the stuff that's cut and I'm waiting for other pieces to it. Um, so you can tell like a lot of the kits are already cut. We're just waiting on little pieces and I'm needing to like, you know, package them up. I have the graph tech going right now. Or I did have it going um, with a bunch of the 7x9 daily duo items. So let me prop this up so I can go ahead and get these going but it has been insane this week I'm trying to figure out like I feel like everyone was very satisfied with the way that the mystery kit vault sale went like I feel like I had no one say that they weren't able to pick anything up so I feel like that's always a success when you know everybody was able to get what they want but it ended up being a lot of work for myself so me and jason have been just talking about like okay is this what we want to do the same like the same next year or do we need to like reevaluate how we're doing certain things um my immediate reaction is like i feel like it went pretty well like of course we're really busy but i feel like it went really well the only thing that I think we need to kind of keep in mind is when I'm scheduling things going forward I need to make sure that I have a week like I do right now where I can go ahead and cut all of this because this was honestly by total accident I somehow messed up my cutting schedule like I gave myself an extra week and so if I wouldn't have had that this would be a completely different story so luckily I do but um, I don't know if it was like, I don't know if I was thinking in the moment like okay this is what I need or if it was just a total mistake on my end, but regardless, um, yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on those and I figured I'd start this clip with you guys talking about the mystery vault orders because like I said, I'm going to be packing them all day tomorrow and so I just feel like you probably need a little set up to understand why all I'm doing is cutting. Um, so yeah, anyway, it's going really well so far though. I have to say like, it's really nice having the graph tech and I feel like the way that I've structured a lot of the mystery kits is that like, I try and come up with the basic three sheets that I love and I keep those pretty similar so that I'm able to use the same format. So that's what I'm doing right now with like some of the daily duo stuff. I'm focusing on getting those daily duo things done just because it's easier to knock those out and I can use the same template for like sheet two and sheet one and it just makes my life a lot easier to do it that way so um, yeah anyway that is a little bit from me so I'm gonna keep going with this but I may just kind of pop in here and there show you guys me packing some of them and then tomorrow is when I'm gonna be going to be filling the orders so I'll kind of pop in and let you guys know how that's going as well. The other thing I wanted to mention is, I have mentioned in the past, renting an office space is very unique. The experience is very unique. Um, so, and it's, it's a funny thing because I feel like we're also having issues at the house too. But there have been times where like the AC is out or maybe the heat is out. There's been a couple times. But yesterday afternoon, one of the maintenance guys came by and was like hey just let you know like we're not gonna have any water we're gonna turn off the water there's some type of plumbing issue um so they're like don't use the water in the office 
but it'll be up like super early in the morning. So I get into the office in the morning and there's no water and it is almost 11 like I said and there's still no water and I actually I see the plumbing truck outside right now and hopefully it gets resolved soon but that's just kind of what goes along with renting an office space um, the same thing could happen in our house like right now we're having some issues with our heating like our heating system we may need to get like a new furnace hopefully not hopefully this one part that we just ordered will be fixed but our house has been a little bit chillier because it like has been kind of wishy-washy on whether it's going to work so um yeah that's the the fun part of owning a house and also renting an office space is that you get like a double whammy there like either something is going wrong with the house or something weird's happening with the office but luckily i don't have to pay for the plumbing issue like that's one nice thing about renting an office space is it's not on me i just have to wait until it gets fixed so that is something that we're working on probably the reason why you heard some background noise that's that truck is out there and i have no idea what they're doing but it's very loud so anyway just wanted to like set you guys up for tomorrow because i'm sure i'll be filming the majority of this video tomorrow but i just figured it'd be fun to show you guys some of the behind the scenes the other thing i wanted to mention and if you've ordered stuff for me you probably know this but I've been trying to get other orders out so if you placed an order like in between the mystery kit orders and like right now your order most likely has already gone out and that's because I knew it was going to take me a long time to get through these and I didn't want to have other orders like just sitting open so I've been trying to like as I'm cutting because it's not a ton of work I have to do as I've been cutting I can also be filling orders and so that's what I've been doing all week as well so anyway I'm gonna let you guys go so I can keep getting things prepped to cut but I wanted to pop in let you guys know what has been going on here at Sarah Marie stickers um, when we yeah. wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright So it is 3.30 now on Thursday, and by some miracle, I was able to get all of the mystery kit vault orders, um, or like the, all the mystery vault kits cut. So here they are. There are 285 kits in here. This thing is like completely packed, um, and it feels great to have them done because then tomorrow morning I'm going to try and get in to the office early and then just go crazy on packing. I think it's 78 orders. So yeah, this took a lot guys, <laughs> like a whole lot, but I am really happy that I was able to get them all cut and packaged for you guys and total time from the time that I started cutting them to when, um, like they're done now obviously is four days so it was it was a lot my back is killing me because I feel like I've been like bending over and working on both machines but it's all done and I'm so glad that you guys are going to be able to get a bunch of these mystery kits you guys were wanting 
so that is awesome so i was thinking that i might film my plan with me today my weekly check-in is going to go in go up on friday instead just because of the timing of stuff this week so i was thinking like okay i already filmed my weekly check-in but maybe i'll also film the plan with me just so that I can get that up on Saturday but I think I'm gonna wait for tomorrow for that because I have a feeling I'm gonna get through these orders quickly and I'll have time but we'll see um, I did have a really fun delivery I've been waiting on this for a while and that is the water-based tape that I was talking about um, so I ordered this when I ordered the business cards and just a little update on the business cards i have been still using the ones that um i told you guys i didn't like it's kind of growing on me but still when you look at it compared to like even this it's very different and when i say cream it's honestly more yellow to me i think that's what's really throwing it off is to me like this is more of a cream color like an off-white Whereas this is more yellow in my opinion. But the new business cards have not come yet. They just shipped like either yesterday or today. So when the new ones come, I'll start using the new ones. But I'll have these ones just in case for whatever reason. Like if I ever run out and I have like a time in between. They're just not my favorite. And I, I really don't like putting stuff out that's not my favorite. Although I have them now. And I included some... In orders before I decided I didn't like them so I'm like you know what might as well just send them for now but I just wanted to show you guys what they look like so here's the front of one of my mailers I'm sending this out today um, and it has like it says Sarah Marie at the bottom and then what I've been doing for a while is I will actually like tape like a clear piece of tape right here because the adhesive that they put on I just feel like it's not strong enough for a lot of the packages that I'm sending out and I want to make sure that when you guys get the package like it's not opened so what I did is I ordered this water-based tape and I got a little setup I'll show you guys that in a second so now on the back of your packages you'll have this really pretty floral and then it says thank you for smart for supporting my small business it looks a little goofy because this was like the beginning part of it um, so it should be a little bit more centered when I send it out but I'm going to use these on the mailers now and also on the boxes and then um, that way I know that they're sealed very well but I don't have to worry about like using clear tape I just feel like this looks cuter um, and I think it'll look really cute on the boxes so yeah I'm excited about that that's something that is a little new and I think will just add a little bit more cuteness to my packaging um, let me switch you guys around and show you guys what the little setup looks like I just got it off Amazon nothing too fancy but um, I think it's so cool. here is how it looks on my desk so I just had another package that I finished um, cutting for and again the center is kind of off right now just because it's like the new um, roll but anyway it's right next to my scale and to my clear tape um, again I just got this off of Amazon you put water in here and then you just kind of slide the tape in it wets it and then you just stick it right on the paper there were some mixed reviews about this setup and honestly so far I've had no issues with it so it's working pretty well for me but um, I'm really excited about it I think it's going to be really fun to have it like as an addition to the shop so I'm going to play around with it, try and make it like, you know, centered a little bit, try and figure out how to do that a little bit more. But I just love that. Isn't that so cute? Like, I'm pretty obsessed with it. And I was able to get, I think it came with like four rolls for not too much. So we'll see how long it takes me to get through those. But this is more of the color that I was going for when I was ordering the, um, when I was ordering the business cards but anyway super cute I'm excited about it I hope you guys like it too and I think it'll just help ensure that your guys's packages come to you guys without being opened um, and all of that fun stuff So it is now 6.45 a.m. on Friday. I mentioned yesterday, but I really wanted to get into the office early today so that I could get a good start on these orders. So I'm just making coffee right now. And Jason is going to be in charge of the girls this morning. Usually I'm doing like carpooling on Fridays, but 
because I wanted to get in and try and get all these orders out, I decided to have him um, be in charge of both girls. So we also have, I think I mentioned this in this video, but we also have an issue with our furnace. And so we have someone coming today between like eight and 12 to repair it. So he's gonna be at home anyway, having to deal with all of that. So it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I'm right now making my coffee. I also have um, the last day of kit 133 for the March kits to cut. So I'm gonna make my coffee. Once my coffee is done, I'm going to go ahead and get started with um, printing. And then once printing is all done for the day, I will start filling orders. Um, I'm here a lot earlier than I typically would be on a friday like normally i get here more around like nine so um, i'm hoping that the day goes very smoothly and i'm able to not only get all of the orders done but also um like cut everything that i need to get cut put stuff away all that type of stuff because next week so on the Friday that you guys are watching this, we have March new releases. And I feel like we're pretty well prepared, but um, yeah, I've been mostly focusing on <laughs> everything for the mystery kit vault order. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start printing right now. And then once that is done and I have the graph tech going, I will move on and focus on working on these orders. So I'll pop back in in a little bit, show you guys me filling some of the orders, give you guys little updates throughout the day, um, all of that fun stuff.
All right, guys, so I posted a picture of this on Instagram, but I figured I'd show you guys. Um, it is now 1.30 on Friday, and I'm officially done with all of the Mystery Vault orders. So, as you can tell, there are a whole lot of orders here. Um, there are 79 total, but I do have, let's see, like 10 off to the side that I need to cut some stuff for. Um, we do have quite a bit of things still like out of stock. We've been, you know, restocking as we've needed stuff, but there are just like a handful of little things that are out of stock that I'll have to go ahead and cut right now. But yeah, lots and lots of orders. I have to say guys, these, um, this water tape stuff, I don't know what it's called, but it works so well especially with all of these mystery orders. There are some, you could probably tell from the look of this mailer, um, there are some of these orders that had like eight to 10 mystery kits and I put the tape on them and um, nothing else, like legit just this like paper tape, water activated stuff and it's keeping it closed, nothing's popping up, so that's awesome. But yeah, that is, my long 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 stack of mailers there so right now i'm going to go ahead and finish cutting the stuff that um i need to fill the rest of the orders and then i need to put all the packing slips on these and i'll have to bring them to the post I office to really quickly mention something about the post office i've had probably um let's see, maybe five customers reach out to me about issues with UPS. And I wanted to really quickly address those issues and talk about how and what I'm doing to like navigate that. So around the holidays, and Jason always likes to remind me this, it's very common for there to be issues with the post office. Um, it's common for mail to be delayed. It's common for, um, things that just get lost because there's so much going on with mail being delivered and people, you know, shipping things and all of that. So it's very common for there to be shipping issues. Every single time around this year, it happens. It's just, it's what to, it's what to be expected around this time. Um, but there have been a couple situations where people um, purchase something, I ship them, and the post office like never, changes the status to like accepted and it never starts moving. So me and Jason have been working with the post office. I spoke to a manager at my local post office and just said like, hey, this is, this is a common issue that we're having where it doesn't even look like we dropped it off. And please guys, I know a lot of you guys know this about me, but if, if it says it's dropped off, if it says the shipping label is created, your items are getting dropped off that day. Like we try and pride ourselves on like trying to get things out as quickly as possible. And I also am aware that like people like to track shipping. And so we try and get them out as quickly as possible and to the post office as quick as possible. Um, but we've been having that issue. So I spoke to a manager a couple like a, a week ago and what we decided would be the best thing to do is for them to use the scan form that we have that etsy creates they'll scan it that shows that the package was dropped off but they're also using like a handheld device to scan each um individual package and it just um somehow updates it so that you guys know for sure that it was actually dropped off and doing that hopefully means that like the tracking is accurate and it gets the tracking to continue to be updated because i think sometimes what happens is it will go into this like pre-transit mode but then it'll get delivered and never get updated um, so we've been having issues. I think we worked it out. So that's good. The other thing that I wanted to mention is, and this has happened, I think like twice now is some package will say that it got delivered and then I'll get an email or a message from a customer saying like, Hey, it says it was delivered. I never received it. And so I've worked with the post office a few times in this situation and what it boils down to is apparently mail theft is a big thing apparently people are waiting for like the mail carrier to drop stuff off and then they go into their mailboxes and steal stuff so when i spoke to a mail carrier like recently 
she was like, yeah, we, we advise that like everybody has a ring camera and that you're like, you know, checking if your package says it was delivered and it wasn't, you're checking to see if someone came and took it. And I know that's not like, we just recently got a ring camera and it was installed by the previous owner. We honestly probably wouldn't have gotten a ring camera. And the only way that it works is if you pay like a subscription so you can go back and look at everything. So I, in no way would I say like, that's what you have to do. I'm, I'm honestly kind of surprised that that was what she recommended but i do say like if you plan on being out of town um maybe just like let me know i can try and see if i can ship it a little bit later or if you know something's going to be delivered like try and check your mail as soon as possible i know people are at work so it's a little bit harder but um that's the only thing that i can think of to try and avoid those situations because it does seem to be a common issue um also signing up for like the informed delivery can help too because then you know when it's coming i know for me like i don't always track all of my my tracking stuff so i don't know like which day it's coming um so anyway that's another thing that you can do you can probably hear i have the shipping labels going so i'm going to hop on my computer start printing some of these restocks get these shipping labels on and then i do need to film my plan with me today because i mentioned this earlier but it's going up a day late so I will need to like film that before I leave. Um, it is almost two, it's a little bit after 1.30 right now. So I'm just gonna keep going with today. And I was able to finish all the cutting that I needed to for 1.33, so that's awesome. Jason's running some errands right now. He came in and cleaned the entire office, which is really nice because we had boxes everywhere. There was so much crap on the floors just from like constantly cutting and like the little plastic things that come off the mailer. So thank goodness that is all done. I feel like we're starting Monday with like a really good starting point. We also figured I'd mention this really quickly. We also got something. Um, I ordered something a couple like maybe a week or so ago um, for those of you guys who picked up the mystery subscription. So there's gonna be something a little extra for you guys and that came today and it looks awesome. So I'm really excited about that. Um, you never know, like I feel like recently, especially after like the business card fiasco, I always get a little nervous when I open stuff up. But so far, um, I think like the business card scenario was just my bad. Like it was just me messing it up and not checking the colors because everything else that I've gotten so far has been great. Like I really love the water based tape system. And then, um, the thing that I ordered to, um, give to the mystery subscribers are also really good. The other thing, I know this is like a jam packed video. It's going to be ridiculously long. Um, I'm going to post probably on Facebook and Instagram as well, but, um, I've had a couple people ask me about the mystery subscription and if I could make it available again in January because um, like timing wise or financially, like some situations, not everybody was able to pick it up in December. And so let me know if that is something that you're wanting. If you would like me to open it back up, um, this will be the only time. Like it will have to be before the January kits are like cut. So I was thinking like maybe sometime next week um, but let me know if that's something that you guys are wanting because like I said, I would have to do that before the mystery kits actually open up just so I know what to cut and get everything ready. Um, so yeah, let me know if you'd like that. If you do let me know that you like, you want to like purchase the mystery subscription, let me know if you're in the U S or if you're in, um, if you're an international customer, I had very few international customers get the mystery subscription because obviously it's financially it, with the shipping. It's really hard. I get it. Um, but just let me know because then I'll know, like, should I even put the international option up? Um, but yeah, let me know about that. I'm going to go ahead and hop into getting all of this work done, but I just wanted to pop in and share the exciting news. I had like such a huge goal today and that was to get all of these out. And I feel so accomplished that not only was I able to cut everything I needed to get cut today, I was also able to get all these orders out. Um, I know for next year, like some things to do a little differently. So I'm definitely going to be like putting that in place and making sure I'm planning things ahead of time. Um, but yeah. It took a total of four days to cut and then an entire day to fill them all. And 
um, yeah, it's going good. So anyway, I'm going to get into everything else, but I will pop in when I'm probably leaving today. All right, guys, so it is 3.08 right now. I'm still cutting some restocks. I am almost done almost um as i'm finishing restock so i'm gonna go ahead and really quickly fill my plan with me because i need to get to the post office and get home we're going to jason's parents house tonight for dinner so i need to get going but i just wanted to say thank you guys so much if you placed one of the mystery vault orders with me thank you so much it means the world to me that you guys love the mystery kits just as much as i do um thank you for watching this video in its entire entirety i know it's going to be a long one it's two full days of stuff and i feel like it was really fun to document this because one it's something a little different and also two I feel like a lot of the times my days are like very similar. I'm cutting, I'm filling orders. This was really fun because I got to show you some new stuff that I had, um, but also I was doing something a little different um, time crunch wise and it was really fun. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did order one of the mystery vault orders from me, then hopefully it arrives very quickly. But I'm going to get going because I have still a lot to do. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.